Alright guys, we just had a major breakthrough. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage over the top, over the middle of the field, for one of the most unsuspecting plays that you would think to call um, against the man-to-man -man meta coverage. Now this beats the meta coverage, this beats press coverage, this beats every man coverage you will face and what's really cool about it is it's actually pretty good against zone as well so let's jump into the video now if you've never met me before my name's cody and i'm just thankful that you guys are taking the time out of your day to watch this video i promise you this will be worth your time we're going to jump right in now those of you that know me know that i love the arizona cardinals playbook i love it so much that i wrote an entire ebook on it and you can get that ebook in the description of this video but today is a play that i haven't covered in the ebook but i wanted to cover it for you here and the ebook has a ton of other things so you can add this if you're already running the arizona playbook and if you haven't already started running the arizona playbook i would highly highly encourage you to check it out if you want to pick up the ebook it's just 25 bucks it comes with a full offense and a full defense we have over 125 pages of material broken down but let's jump into this video now i have been getting a lot of press coverage i don't know about you but i've been getting a lot of press man-to-man -man coverage um since the latest patch and press man is actually pretty tough to beat so i'm going to show you a play out of the gun tray open now what you want to do is you want to put your fastest wide receiver in this right slot here so you see for the packers i have marquez valdez scantling in that position and he is going to be going up against let's see here uh, Jason McCourty, who has really, really good man coverage. He might he might actually be going up against Jonathan Jones, and Jonathan Jones has like 94 speed. So this the speed is kind of irrelevant. I'm going to show you why. It's the route that you need. I would recommend, though, to have speed. Um, Equanimous St. Brown was still beating this but it's just a little bit better with Marquez Valdez Scantling in that position. So, again, I would highly recommend using the Packers also if you're playing head-to-head. -head. I think they have the best offense and defense combination. But let's jump right in. Dime 146, in my opinion, has the best cover two man if they are allowed to run it. Um, if someone's running Dime 146 on you, I highly recommend just running the ball because it is one of the best pass defenses in Madden. But let's jump in. So X-Drag is the play from Guntray Open. This is in the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook. You literally don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. And what you're going to see is I'm just going to run the play as is, and uh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you something that's going to happen that's actually really really critical, and then we'll show you what happens here. So just run it as is, and you see right there um, that time he he knocked the ball out. But what you're going to see is that now you might say, well, you know, it might just be an alignment issue. So all they need to do is press coverage. Well, watch Marquez Valdez Scantling. You're going to see that he's not going to get pressed, even though they press coverage it. And you can pass lead this. And it took me a little bit to understand the pass lead, but you see there it's a one-play touchdown against cover two man. Um, it took me a little bit to understand the pass lead, but first and foremost, I want to jump into instant replay, and I want to show you why this route works so well and something that you might consider looking at in your own playbook so you're going to see here, he's going to try to press, but because of the fact that it's an unbumpable route, he's not going to be able to press the, the, the play. Now, the only thing that gives this any issue whatsoever is this deep half safety. If this deep half safety was not in there, if it was anything but a deep half, he, this would be an easy lob ball over the top. But because it's a deep half, you can't lob it because if I lob it in here, the safety is going to get it. The only window to throw the ball is right in this little pocket right here. And so Aaron Rodgers throws a laser inside pass lead. You need to click onto the receiver. You see here I take control of the receiver. I do a little slight swerve. See that little slight swerve and then up. And it's going to prevent any interceptions. And then I am off to the races. Let me show you how consistent this is. Literally, you can do this against press coverage. Now you might say, well, what if they man align, right? What if they man align? What if they press coverage? Because that's going to give them the best alignment possible. Well, what you're going to see, same exact thing is going to happen. Inside pass lead, that little swerve. Now, if you're worried about that little catch drop, because that, that does sometimes happen. A lot of that a lot of the time it has to do with your pass lead. I recommend throwing this at about ten o'clock or eleven o'clock if your left joystick was a was a clock. Um, just because you need it you still need it to get up, but you don't want it. you see right there, if I go straight up, it's not it's gonna run it into the safety. It is a very uh, tender throw, but if you can master this right there, that's the animation we're looking for right there. Now, if you're worried about the catch tackle, which that will sometimes happen, I want to show you a little bit of a trick around it. Basically, all you got to do, click on and just possession, just possession, catch the ball. Um, 
Now, one thing also that I would recommend is when you throw the ball, one of the key elements to this is to hold the pass lead button after you've thrown it. So hold it for a good second after I've thrown it, and then he will he will make the animation. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this, this works really, really well against press man-to-man -man coverage. What's cool about it is you also have other reads as well. And, of course, um, I'm messing up my pass lead a little bit. The pass lead is the key to the route, in my opinion, um, because the it is a tender throw if that safety is there. Now, if they take the safety away, I do want to show you that really quickly. So let's say, because I've seen this a lot, let's say they take the safety away. Um, watch what's going to happen. Just lob it up. Just lob it. He'll beat him uh, over the top, and it'll be an absolute laser. If they take the safety away, just throw it up. Now, what if they take, what if they play... Let's see. Let me show you what happens if they put that safety into an inside third. So it's something like this right here. Like maybe you're facing some type of cover run, cover one press or something like that because they're going to put the safety in that. Basically, you're just going to pass lead this open. So you could pass lead this to the right, as you can see here. Um, but what I would recommend, and that's part of why this route combination is so critical, what I would recommend is if that does happen, it's an if this, then that formula and basically what you're going to do is instead of trying to hit the inside pass lead, which you can still kind of hit it, I would hit this outside pass lead to Devontae Adams. You see he's going to be able to get over the top of his man most of the time. Um, he's going to be wide open as well on this. So this is truly a way to beat man-to-man -man, um, from multiple things. Now, what if they shade coverage, over to, um, shade coverage up? A lot of you probably think, well, it's going to stop it if they shade coverage up. Actually, it's just going to give him better inside positioning, and you're going to be able to click on and make that secure catch, as you can see right there. Um, that, when they when they shade their outside and up, that's where you're really going to want to come in and give him with that hard inside pass lead to bring him back. It's You, you, you want to think about that route, even though it looks like a streak. Look at the route real quick with me for just a second. You see that it's rounded up the seam. It's a rounded streak that's that's what you're looking for so round it up and and go get it that's the key element to this um to me that's that's what's going to really make this happen and again the best coverage to run it on is the press coverage because they're going to completely miss the press and you see right there that's what we're looking for now um with the catch tackling like i said a lot of it has to do with making sure that you're holding you've got to get the ball up but you've got to get the ball you can't get the ball up and out it's got to be up and in and if you, because you see right there, if I just go, that was a straight up pass lead. If I just go straight up on my pass lead, it's not going to get there. Um, it's going to get in. It's going to get. You know, the the safety is going to be able to come down and make a play. Now, real quick, you know, you do have your crossing routes. I do want to show you that you still have you still have the crossing route right there. Um, this this um, this drag route uh, normally does get inside leverage against man to man, and you can just let him run. And you see there, he's going to get open against man two. So you have other reads than just this route. But I did want to show you this. Now, with the route to Marquez Vadescan, like I said, it is a tender throw. You're going to want to practice this before you go into head-to-head, -head, in my opinion. you want Your your goal with this is to get that over-shoulder um, inside uh, catching animation. That's the goal. And there you see, that's what we're looking for right there. So I would say at 10 o'clock, I think, gives you the most consistent results with this. Because what you don't want to do is give the cornerback too much time to run underneath it. Like if I throw it right here, you'll see I can still pop that in. As you see there, it's a quick, it's a tender throw. But let me tell you really quickly, what the what your opponent's going to try to do is he's going to try to click on and he's going to try to take this away. You you can't click onto this. You can't do that um, because it's such a tender throw and because of the 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 angle that you're coming from. The only thing he's going to be able to do because you have that that good step on him is he's only going to be able to uh, basically knock it out, as you can see, that catch-tackle animation. That's really his only only hope um, with this. And so the idea is if you can get the ball up there um, with that hard lead, you can kind of – you see there, and that's where the timing is everything. If you throw it a little bit late, you see there, it's going to allow him enough time to get underneath the ball or if you only or if you throw it down. So that's why it's got to be at like 10 o'clock – um, or 9 o'clock, something in here, and that's what we're looking for. That's the rat catch animation we're looking for up the seam against the cover two man. So why, why is this important? Well, it opens up so many options because if they are running shaded coverage outside and shaded coverage over top and maybe they're running their purple zones, this is going to torch, um, torch, torch, torch man. You see here, he gets a step on him, and you can actually, 
you can actually throw that as a lob ball, but you can also throw that as an inside pass lead, just a bullet pass to the inside. And what you'll see is this, this route is going to give you that inside position, and you're going to make that secure catch all day. So this allows you a really, really good yard gainer against a lot of the um, different ways people are going to want to run man-to-man. And now, if they do any shading on this, you do see that it does uh, it does help with the press a little bit because of the outside releasing. So that is just something I want you to know. If he does get pressed, it means they're shading their out they're shading their press coverage. Um, if they if they shade it to the inside, he let's see what happens here. Yep, you see he does get pressed there. So that's where you're going to check down to your crossing route or your drag route uh, against those coverages. But if they're just running straight up man to man press, this route will absolutely uh, destroy man-to-man -man press over the top as you can see right there you're going to get consistent user catches with it so um, but guys for more exclusive Madden tips I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button I would also encourage you to join our texting membership we have a full uh, scheme out right now from the gun cluster that we only have we only send it to our text message uh, members literally all you have to do to sign up for that scheme is just shoot me a text message um, just shoot me a, uh, a, a text message. My number's in the top left corner of your screen there. It's 812-216-3644. Uh, but this route is tender, like I said. You just want to work on it. Uh, I'm telling you right now, the Patriots are defending it the best. The Patriots are the best defense of the game. If you play any other defense at regs, this thing is a, is going to roast. You play the Bucks. You play. You play anybody else. Um, this thing is going to roast it. The Patriots are still at least in the conversation, just because of how good their corners are. But that that being said, you're you're going to be able to still beat these Patriots corners um, as long as you as long as you place the ball properly. Okay, as long as you as long as you place the ball properly, and that's why I would suggest going into practice mode, um, learning this a little bit more. But that's, you see there, those are some of the animations we're looking for uh, on this up the seam. But anyways, guys, uh, text me for more tips. I have a big nickel over G run defense that covers uh, over 50 uh, minutes long, talking about how to stop every single run in Madden 21 um, with that defense. And then I also have uh, schemes out of the Minnesota Vikings um, and out of the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook for you if you guys want to join the texting membership. Literally, all you have to do is just text me uh, and let me know you'd like to receive those videos, and I can send them to you. Um, it is my personal cell phone number, so um, be sure to shoot me your name so that I can save you in my contacts. Uh, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. We've got a couple more videos coming for you today, and we'll also be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so I'll see you on there. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, that's a great place to be able to connect with other players in our community. Um, and if you're interested in our Xbox One CFM starting up soon, just text me and let me know you'd be down to play in that. We're trying to get about 32 people before we uh, launch that next week. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in uh, later on today.